What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming, and today guys is December 3rd, 2015, and I'm bringing you a new updated tutorial for Brute Force Save Data 474 on how to reassign saves. So, I've been receiving a lot of requests from me to do an update to my previous tutorial where I showed you guys how to set up Brute Force Save Data and how to reassign saves. So, I got a question from one of my subscribers on how do I reassign my saves because he is experiencing uh, technical difficulties on resigning his own saves and he was like, Mr. You Know Who, I want to know how do you reassign your saves. So, I said, you know what, I'm going to show you guys because a lot of times I'm seeing emails where, oh, the save doesn't work. Now, you guys got to keep in mind, if your brute force save data is not set up correctly or it is set up correctly or you're missing a step, it's not going to work. So, this tutorial is going to show you guys how I reassign saves. Now, you guys got to keep in mind, my brute force save data is set up correctly. So, if you're looking to set up your brute force save data before you watch this tutorial, check out my previous video on how to set it up. But like I said before, this is... A tutorial for those who already have brute force working in a setup and is still experiencing troubles when you sign the saves. So, first things first, let me open up my brute force save data. And as you guys can see, it's just loading. Give it a second. Now, as you guys can see, these are all my saves on my desktop. Now, I'm using a regular save that I did not reassign that I just downloaded offline as a prime example. So, first thing, what I'm going to do, right, always check your setup profiles. As you guys can see, it's on my test account, and that's the account that I primarily use on my PS3, and it's already there. Again, you got to make sure your stuff is set up. My stuff is set up. I know what account I'm reassigning this to. So, let me move this over. Just bear with me for one second. Can I? Oh, I can't. So, first things first, what I'm going to do, I verify PFD right as you can see already i got a whole bunch of red red is not good what that means is that this say belongs to somebody else and if you see fail or pc console id hash fail this hash key fail it means two things one either you don't have the this hash key correct for this save so anytime you try to verify if it keeps coming up red you may have to get the this hash key for this game I already have the disk hash key for this game out because I know already. So the reason why mine just came up red is because it's not actually reassigned to my test account. It was just a random save I downloaded with somebody else's. So now as I hit verify PFD, it's telling me do I want to um, associate this save to test and reassign it. And I'm going to hit yes. That's exactly what I want to do. And as you guys can see everything is okay so like I said before if you get a save either you download it or you download a my save and you want to reassign it to your account first things first that I always do I go verify PFD once you do that and it's all blue and let me actually let me blow this up for you guys big so you can see make sure you have your disk hash key key it says key here but that's your disk hash key if you have a save, right, and you come to verify, and there's no disk hash key, it's going to always come up right until you fix that. So as long as you have your disk hash key in and your brute force save that is set up correctly to the right account, you shouldn't have any problems. So I'm using Splinter Cell, I believe, double agent. And everything I verify is okay. So after I do that, right, I go to the save which is right here on my desktop, and I click on this. Now, I told you guys before, there are two params in the save, and I actually responded to a couple of people. It's usually the first one or the bottom one. This one, right, remember, you're not supposed to have two params in your save. 
So that can be the number one reason why if you reassign the save correctly and everything is done right and everything is blue and you still go and put it on your PlayStation and it's still saying either the save belongs to another user or is corrupt, it's more than likely that you have the two parents and the system can't distinguish between who actually owns the save. So with what I normally do, I come in, right, and I'm going to double click on this to show you guys. You see up here where it says param.sfo.underscore dot dot underscore original. This is the other person's param. You don't want that, right? So, so oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. You don't want this. So first things first, you want to close this out, and that's this one right here. And I delete this. This is what I said before to some of you guys. Always do this. Delete that. And this one here should be. The one that you reassign that actually is yours. And as you can see, there's no pattern.sfo underscore original. It's just straightforward, the right one. Now, once you do that, right, you want to go back. I usually just hit refresh. As you guys can see, this the save is still here. I verify one more time to make sure everything is looking good. As you guys can see, everything still checks out and if you go back and look at the save on your desktop one more time as you can see it did not create another pattern dot sfo underscore it's just a regular one which is the right one so keep in mind you always want after you reassign the save let me take that back after you reassign the save and everything is okay you want to go inside the save and see if you have two patterns and delete the one that says pattern underscore original from your save check it one more time and then you should be good to go and i just copy it back on my actual usb flash drive i load it in the playstation playstation recognizes it and that's that that's all that i do when i reassign saves and like i said before keep in mind my stuff is set up correctly so i don't have any issues with brute force save data now with that being said you also got to keep in mind there are very few games that are out there that if you do everything right, I mean everything that I just told you, it's still not it still will not work. Now, what that can be is two things. One, you reassign the save, you delete the pattern, and it say, hey, it's still not working. What that tells me is that it may require a checksum fixer. Just like the Kingdom Hearts, you need a checksum fixer to address the hash of the save so that it can work i only had that problem with one save that is street fighter cross tech and did not work no matter how hard i tried i'm assuming it's either the encryption on the save or you need to check some fixer very few saves i encounter and it just does not work at all but like i said before if you did everything right and follow what i just told you and your brute force say that is set up you should not have any problems again if you're using exploder if i remember correctly that's that one from the overseas which i stopped using years ago for the one reason a customer service is horrible b it took like goddamn six months to get a license key and when something happened to the program and it wasn't functioning i didn't get a response to like two months later so i would tell you guys straight off the back if you're using exploder to reassign your saves you better switch to something else because again the only thing that i know that exploder is good for is getting saves reassigning saves i don't use it for jack no more i used to use it but i just refuse to use it because of all the problems with their customer service i would recommend brute force save data because again it's free you don't want to have any problems and everything should be running good so again like i said before make sure when you reassign your save, you have the correct this hash key put in. And you want to also make sure that when you reassign it, everything is blue, not red. If it's red, usually check your this hash key and make sure everything is good. So that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, I had FIFA here. Let me see something. There's no this hash key. I'm going to try to brute force this. See, it actually gonna put in the actual dis hash key for me. 
That's, that's just how simple you can put in the dish hash key. Now I know it worked for FIFA um, 16. And there are other games out there that it just doesn't work, no matter how hard you hit brute force. Now, I want to address that for you guys. What I normally do, right, I right click. I'm going to use Resident Evil Revelation 2 because I was one that was a pain in my ass to, to actually get it to work. And come all the way down, right, settings, and open game com. Right? And this is where you put your disk hash key for everybody who don't notice. So, let me scroll all the way hell down here. As you guys can see, it's already in there. And I, I put this space here. I don't know the hell why. But when you add your disk hash key, this is where it goes. Now, I know that I had trouble um, with Resident Evil Revelation 2 when you try to put your disk hash key and then you save it and you go back and it's still not working and it keeps asking you for a file called ELF, E-L-F. You guys got to be patient, right, and keep trying, trying, and trying, and trying. I can tell you this, with very few games I had that problem, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain I had that problem, but guess what, it worked after like 30 minutes of keep taking the disk hash key, putting it in there, restarting, running as admin, so patience is a virtual. But, like I said before, if you have a game, and you're resigning it, and you don't have the disk hash key in, you know there's a problem. That's probably, like, step one of why you keep getting the red. Step two, if you have it in there, and you didn't verify, then that can be the second reason why you have red. But if you do everything that I just told you, you should be good. So, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to leave it as that. I will be doing a series um soon as school is over within the next two weeks with a whole bunch of frequently asked questions for brute force save data that i know you guys are having trouble with and you want me to address it so i'm gonna put together like a seven series brute force save data covering everything in detail from scratch that's everything so that you guys have a full understanding and all tutorials are covered when it comes to brute force save data so Look out for that. It's coming soon. Just be patient. School is almost over for me, and I'm going to get into that. Um, another thing I want to remind everybody, I'm just starting my PS4 live stream. So I'm going to be on Black Ops um, 3. So I almost said, I almost said 4. <laughs> I'm having one of those days. Black Ops 3 for the PlayStation 4. And if you want to check me out, hit me up on my gaming channel. If you guys want to play with me, I don't have a problem with you guys playing with me. But be fair, warned. If you are a young-minded person and you want to play with me, you need you need to know how to conduct yourself. If you're one of those people that's going to come and, hey, Mr. You-Know-Who, I want to play with you, and you start trolling or acting crazy or yelling, I'm going to tell you straightforward. One, there is no second chance on playing with me. Two, the first time, you may get a courtesy warning. After that, A, you're deleted off my PlayStation. You may be banned from my actual um youtube channel so please respect me respect the gamers who you play with because i don't want to be annoyed by some young minded people young minded people do young minded things so i'm trying to get this out the way for everybody else who wants to play with me straight up have a good time get a couple laughs and kill some people hit me up on my youtube channel um let me know you want to play with me send me your psn once i confirm it on my youtube channel then I'm going to tell you, hey, hit me up on my PS4, send me a uh, request, I'll accept it, and we get it popping. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. I hope this worked for you guys. Let me know if it did or didn't, and I'll go back and revise it. As always, peace.